All right, guys, let me show you how you go from this what the fuck? to this. Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up the PlayStation, PlayStation 1 emulator to get your gameplay in 4K in case you have a 4K monitor. If not, you can do it in 8, 1080p. And uh, by the way, yes, we did a pool last week. Well, I did a pool last week and you um, obviously voted for Hell yeah, six votes. The results are right there. I just don't want to show you that, that I actually do uh, <laughs> checked out the pool and, what, and whatnot. So with anything further ado, guys, I'm going to show you from beginning to end what to do, what you need to do, what you need to set up so that you get a really good result without any glitching and any artificial things while you're playing it in a high resolution. With anything further ado, guys, let's get the job done. All right, guys, you go to core options. And the first thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to go to enhance man settings. Boom. Uh, GPU render guys, uh, you can keep it automatic, it will definitely probably select D3, D11, uh, but I go, I would recommend Vulkan. So you select Vulkan here, uh, Intel, resolution, Intel resolution scaling guys, put it at, depends on what screen uh, resolution you have, like depends if your screen is a 1080p screen, you go for 1080p. If it's a 1440p screen that I have, I go for 1440p screen. And if you have a 4K screen, or you maybe want to connect your PC, uh, yeah. Connect your PC to your 4K TV that you have at home, you can do that. And because I have a 1440p monitor, I'm gonna take 1440p. That'll be six up scaled. Use uh, sort of render, don't do that. Multi-scale, multi-sample scaling, yes. You can begin with uh, 2 MSAA if you want to. But, uh, and then when we're done with the settings, if you have a good computer, guys, really high end, you can really push it to the maximum. I don't because I don't think you get a lot out of it. So stay with 2 MSA. Through color rendering, you can do that, but there's a possibility uh, that some games might break. For me, on those games that I have right now, Digimon World and Digimon uh, Trading Card Game, Nothing happens. Scale the terrain, keep that on. Display interesting, keep that on. Force anti state timing, timings, I never play with that. Don't play with that either. It's force D by three, chrome smoothing. Didn't play anything either. Uh, texture filtering, guys, it depends on if you want like a more anime-like texturing. You can go for XBR or you can go for the Jinx C2. I go XD for nearest nearby. So it stays like the OG games as they always was. White screen hack, turn it on. POC PGXM geometry co uh, correction, turn this on. Uh, PGX curling correction, keep this on as well. And keep this PGX texture correction as well. Uh, PCGX depth buffer guys, turn, keep it off. It's gonna only uh, mess with your game. It's gonna be like broken out of its mind. Uh, PGX vertex cache, um, I think this you can turn on. PGX P CPU mode, you keep this off, and PGX preserve projection precision, you can keep that on if you want to. So those was for the enhancement settings. Now display settings, guys. Uh, I recommend correct. You can go for 16 by 9 if you want to full, have the full screen, but it's gonna look ugly. It's gonna get stretched out, and if you have a uh, white white uh, white screen hack, it's gonna I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. But we're gonna keep that. If you want the correct settings, get to keep it at correct or game native. But I always keep it at correct. Uh, crop mode, all borders, dump sampling. Don't play with that. Display OCD message. Yeah, keep those on if you want. Like to. Be notified if you have achieved something or not and with this all set guys i think you're pretty much done like that now if you resume the game it's gonna restart and start and look at those settings look look at the graphics right now holy shit it's a whole nother game all right yeah day what's your name uh we're just gonna put oops there we go emu Hold up guys, 
and where's the U? So, boom. Yes, blah blah blah. And then, like, if you for your for your for my Digimon when I was a little kid, I always put OG because I liked like RMB. Yeah, even the videos, the R GC, 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 I don't know what it's called, it, GCPU, something, those video kinds, they're gonna look as well enhanced. So now let's skip. We're gonna skip all that. I wanna make this video as short as possible, but at the same time, I wanna give you the most uh, possible information what need, what you need to do. File City, let's get on. Look at this, guys. This is how it looks in native or correct resolution. Really good, in my opinion. I, this is this is 2K resolution right now because I only have 2K a 2K monitor. I'm gonna skip through this thing. Look at the graphics. Some Digimon look good. Some are pre-rendered. That's they did that in the OG times so that they can't uh, save a lot of memory or cache. I think. As you might see, all those who are really good enhanced in graphics, the Digimon, they are literally rendered at, 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 at the time you see it. And the other ones are literally 2D sprites. This is a good way to actually get them. <laughs> yeah. So every Digimon guys on the screen right now that you see in really good quality, high quality, are, are, are rendered in, uh, in real time and the other ones are only 2D sprites. So they're not going to be enhanced as much as you want. As you see, here they're all 3D. The backgrounds, of course not. Only 2D sprites. We're going to just talk a little bit with him. Come on. Oh my god. Let's go OG. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. I love that. Yeah, that's what's pretty it. This is pretty much it. Look at the graphics, how good they look. And it's widescreen as well. Even it's in the in the in the resolution that we have it. There's a little bit of bubbling, but this is where the program is actually correct the geometry. So let me show you what happens if you would go to widescreen, like 16 by 9. Um, really quick, where was it here? Corruptions and display. And let's say we 2 by 16 by 9. You see? It looks really good. Like if you don't if you don't mind that the clock, it's not of course not every game. Some games works really good with that, some does not. You see the clock thingy is outside the screen. Uh, but there's another way you can play, you can like fix that is to core options guys, you go enhancement and you turn off, where is it, where is the widescreen, but it's gonna look like that, it's gonna look a little bit chubby, but it's not bad, still it's not bad, the graphics still look good. And in my opinion, you can play it like that if you want to. If you really like want the whole whole screen to be covered, you can do that. I don't mind. But for those guys who really want that OG PlayStation 1. Oh, I don't even have meat, of course. But yeah, this is pretty much it with the PlayStation 1, guys. That's how you get those good, really good, good looking graphics. Uh, but yeah. Corruptions, enhancements, and if you turn on widescreen hack, it's gonna look a lot. It's gonna look a lot better, but hack my life. So it's up to you guys what you wanna do. I keep the widescreen hack on, and I, oops, I turn off. I I just put it on correct, and I'm happy camper. It's, it looks a lot better, the pixels look better. Sorry, Agumon, let, let, I know some people are gonna be pissed and like, oh, give him food, give him food. Hold up. You, can, you see, it looks better. Keep it as it is. There you go, only for the viewers here, there you go. Oh, 
All right, guys, that's what's pretty much this tutorial. Hope you like it. With that all said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here, guys. Have yourself a good day. And Barayas, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emu. Hey, now I'm freaking out of here. Peace.